Hi everyone, I am back with another tutorial that is working with Jupyter interface. Let's watch this amazing video. In before tutorial, we seen how to download Anaconda and how to install Anaconda, how to launch Jupyter in our computer. Everything was explained in before tutorial. If you not uh, seen that tutorial just go through that and you can install anaconda in your laptop uh, the link was available in description just go through that in this tutorial we are going to work with how the jupyter interface or uh, is working how we can create a folder how we can create python file everything will explain and everything will do so just watch you can see this is the jupyter uh, notebook actually local host 8892 that means i'm working with this local host number and it's like a tree tree means it's like a text uh it's like a my computer it's the main tree it's having all the folders you can see all the folders which was there in my computer or there in this jupiter also we can say like it's like a jupiter my computer it's better just go to desktop you can see in desktop there is no folder in my desktop so we we need to check right just minimize this one and you can see this is my desktop and there is no folder in my desktop right so just go to uh chrome and you can see there is no folder right so i want to create a folder just go to new button and you can see python 3 file text file folder file and terminal file right so just you want to create a folder right just cl click this one just minimize this one and go to desktop yes our folder was created right so just rename this one as a python because i want to work all the files with uh, this folder only like this is the way to create folder in jupyter after creating here so you can see this is i'm in python folder right you can observe here so this is the main folder in that having desktop and next having python folder in python folder i want to create all the files so just go to new and you can see these files actually i already said the present version current version of python is python 3 point something right so i want to work with python 3 so that's why i want to create a python file so just create this python file i want to rename this file as jupyter interface so if you observe the file was renamed now we need to check in desktop really the file was created or not of course if we go to desktop of course the file was created that is python uh, jupyter interface right you can did you observe that it was created like dot ipynb that is a python notebook you can see that it like checkpoints also what is meant by checkpoint i'll explain in before no need to worry about in future I'll i want to rename again that is better to keep like working with jupyter interface because everyone will understand so working with jupyter interface it's very clear right this is called as a cell so you, did you observe that i am when i am in bad so its color the color was changes into blue color to green color if i in this uh click mode that means edit mode we can see we can say that edit mode if i am in edit mode it was changing into green color right if i i mean like outside of the cell like we can call as command mode the color was changing into blue color so i want to write the same thing here so because so blue color means we can't edit and if the cell was in green color so green color so if i press the escape mode so i actually i mean edit edit mode right just i'll press the escape in my keyboard did you observe the color of the cell was changes blue green color to blue color so now i'm in command mode right so if i press enter this is the shortcut if i press enter you can see the color was changes into like blue color to green color so now i'm in edit mode so these are the shortcuts so if i mean so just i'll escape i mean what we can say command mode just i'll press p you can see the uh, all the things was there here so it's like a p means we can search what you want and it's getting all the uh, shortcuts what we are going to do so we are getting like list of commands what i 
start everything so i'll explain some of the commands it's very important because while we are working with python so shortcuts are very important so i'll explain some shortcuts just go through this and this now escape i want to write these things because you can understand escape means to what is meant by checkpoint if i control s just observe the checkpoint time will uh, changes just now it's uh, the time of the checkpoint is 6 minutes if i press the control s now you can see that yes did you observe the checkpoint means up to there it was saved that is called checkpoint did you understand and if you go to actually i told about desktop just go to desktop and just go to python just go to checkpoints where when it was done the time everything is there here so that's why that is the importance of checkpoint so i think you understand about checkpoints what i thought in before so now we'll go to file if you want to create a new notebook that means if you want to create a python file just create a python file and you can do that if you want to open any python file just go through and open you can save you can rename i already explained the checkpoint you can do as a control s which also call as a checkpoint and you can download this file as a dot py or dot nb dot html what you want you can download this file it's like a interface it's like a good a, a interface that's why i preferred jupyter to work with and just go to edit if you actually we are working with cells right so how we can uh, insert a cell how we can delete a cell right so for that just uh, i'll explain the short code also so you if you want to copy the cell first of all i'll insert a cell then you can understand i'll insert a cell in below so the cell was inserted right so i want to uh, cut the cell just if you press this the cell was cut so this is the way and again i want to insert a cell below then you can copy the cell and you can paste the cell and you can delete the cell of course you can delete the cell so you can insert again the cell above or below whatever it may be so if you just click keep here so now i want to insert the cell in above then you can see the cell was in above so this is the way and if you want to delete the cell just go and you can delete the cell so these all things was there and you can split the cell you can match the cell and you can do lot many things about cells this is all about cells and i'll explain the shortcuts of cells also so no need to worry about cells what why what i am explaining so i think it's very clear so what is meant by split cell means so actually i am there right so i'll delete the cell then you can understand so just i am deleting the cell i am working in only one cell right just go to edit and i am writing i want to write python code which is like print and now go to edit and just split the cell did you observe the cell was splitted the same cell was splitted into two which one call as a new cell also so that is the difference i think you all uh, understand about uh, the thing so now next one is uh, what's uh, uh, if you want to match the cells just match the two different cells was matches into one cell so that is the difference about match cell and that's all about edit and now we can go to toggle header what is meant by toggle header toggle toolbar so just click this one did you observe the toggle header was changes like jupiter checkpoint was everything was changes if you click the toggle header this is called as a toggle header and the next toggle toolbar means this one i think you are seen the sum of the tools that is called as toggle toolbars just click if you observe this is called as toggle toolbar and cell toolbar and if you want slide show just you can keep the slide type they are having lot many things if you want what we can and you can keep as none so it's better and i already explain about insert insert cell above you can insert the cell below what you want you can do that so what is meant by cell so you want to run the cell right so you want to see the output of this cell like uh, i'll write some code which is like hello world run cell you can see the output of hello world right so this is the way to see the output of hello world so what i have to do the shortcut was shift enter so i want to write again hello world just can copy and just paste and i don't want to go always i don't want to run just i'll make it as shift enter did you observe so this is the shortcut to run a cell that is shift enter command 
and otherwise you can run like this also uh, you did you observe that if you run automatically the cell was created like you can see so if you run the uh, particular cell automatically the cell was new cell was created the dog so this is there the advantage of no need to create always new cell so it's like advantage to us and if you want to delete just make it as dd and you you need to like what we can say we need to like command mode then only we can delete just press two times dd did you observe the cell was deleting dd i am pressing dd then this is the way to delete the cell the shortcut was dd so i'll write the shortcuts uh, everything so what is meant by kernel so what is meant by kernel means we are working in interface right background the kernel was going uh, like background the process is going on so if you stuck anywhere like if the jupyter notebook was stuck just restart the kernel and you can work on again and generally will not use about widgets so this is like save and checkpoint it's a shortcut like control s if you want to insert a cell this is a plus symbol cut the cell and this is like copy the cell and this is paste the cell and inside the cell in uh, move the cell in up and move the cell in down and just run and restart interrupt the kernel and restart the kernel and you can move forward you did you observe so restart and run so everything was explained in kernel these shortcuts was there here and now you can see what is code markdown heading ra and we convert what's the difference For writing the code python which which was there everything was in code right so i actually this was in code right so if you want to write documentary instead of writing uh, always commands actually i written so many commands right so instead of writing commands better to write in markdown so actually i'll come with an another tutorial uh, like how to write markdown code everything i'll explain about markdown no need to worry about that so if i click the markdown did you observe this uh, the markdown syntax so like headings it was if i just con shift enter so do you observe the documentation so they are having lot many techniques lot many commands out there about uh, this markdown i'll uh, explain so if you are in code like it's like a commands general commands of python so that is the difference between code and markdown so mainly markdown is used for like documents preparation so i'll explain some of the commands which is there that is m m means if you press the m so it's like to convert the cell into markdown so, so now i mean like uh, uh, command mode right just go to just click m so do you, did you observe that automatically my cell was changes code to markdown so this is the shortcut so again just go to code so this is the way to go to markdown and i think i'll make like iphone then you can understand so i'll another shortcut that is y so y means convert cell back into code cell so actually i selected the code right so to convert i i want to move to markdown yes of course i done now i want to move to code cell just i don't want to go here i don't want to select code instead of that i want to just click y that's all very simple command m and y next that is a so if i click the a so if i click the a what happens for below what is the command so that is b so b cell if you press the b in your keyboard so new cell in below that's it so i think very clear so i already explained about dd just press two times d plus d then delete the cell and what is meant by z actually we use control z right here we'll use like z so if i press the z if i press the z so just z so actually i deleted this this cell so if i press the z it's like before undo better you can see we are done we like control z in generally so here we can do like undo 
only z so one is f if i press the f just i'll press the f so if you want to find anything you can find if you want to replace you can do that it's a shortcut i think you all of us know about f in before also so find and replace shift up and down so if i press shift up arrow you can see if you want to select all the things you can select all like and otherwise if you are in command mode just press shift and up arrow are you observed all the cells was come uh, selected and if you want to uh, execute only some cells then it's work so just run you can execute all the cells what you want so that is the shortcut of that and shift down you all of us know that you can sell you can select multiple cells so now i'll write that one also so shift so we can sell multiple cells at a time so what is meant by space uh, just i'll press the space button so i mean actually this cell right so if i press the space button you can scroll down so if you are working with like big big files if you want to do always just space you can use space button and so shift space if you want to go to up so what is meant by it's like a shift plus space so upwards so just we'll try the shift space it's working or not i'm working split space so did you observe i'm pressing the shift space so this is about the shortcut and we all of us know that shift enter to execute the file that means run the cell not file run this particular cell that is yes of course shift enter means we can run and that is p just press the p then you can see lot many commands which was i already explained i learned all the commands from here only so y which was explained and also shift a b many commands many commands i learned from these only so i think it's very clear so i this is about jupiter interface i'll come with an another tutorial that is markdown format for documentation i hope uh, this video is helpful to you in future definitely subscribe this channel uh, because if you support me i'll do more and more videos and do like and share